Hi, my name's Robert Powell. I am the Director of Research at MUFON, and I am also the head of the Science Review Board. Uh, this year, I will be speaking at the MUFON Symposium, which will take place in late August of 2016 in Orlando, Florida. I will be presenting on the top cases that MUFON has investigated over the last couple of years. I mean, this will include everything from a guy who owns his own company and sees a barbell-shaped UFO within 300 feet of himself, along with two other witnesses, to individuals who have seen triangular craft. And most of these cases have multiple witnesses. Uh, the objects are fairly close, in other words, within 500 feet. And there are cases that have been brought to the Science Review Board and have been reviewed and a decision made that there are no simple explanations to the case. The question of the UFO phenomenon, why I investigate it, and what does it mean to me? I mean, that's a good question. I, I have spent the last seven to eight years um, a lot of time. I would say I average probably 20 hours a week investigating the UFO phenomenon. Um, I've got gigabytes and gigabytes of historical files. Um, I've, I've read a, uh, written a book, uh, UFOs and Government, a historical inquiry, which looks at the history of the phenomenon beginning of World War II until the modern day. So I've, I've got a very good feel and understanding of the UFO phenomenon. But, but I guess back to your question, why, why, have I, why do I spend this time? Well, I mean, I guess one simple explanation is I enjoy it because I meet a lot of interesting people, uh, a lot of good people. Um, another reason I do it is I enjoy a, a mystery that's difficult to solve, and that's probably... Part of that is my background, which is chemistry, right? You know, chemists love to mix things together to see what happens. Well, uh, this is a mystery which uh, has not been solved in the last 60 years, and I doubt that it will be solved in the, in the next 20 to 30 years. Nonetheless, I'm still enthralled by this mystery. And the other reason I guess I do it is... To look at the, the question of, are we alone? Um, you know, I don't know what the UFO phenomenon is exactly, right? I mean, I haven't caught one and, and been able to uh, determine where it came from, right? But with all the people I've talked to, uh, and I've interviewed hundreds of people on this topic, I believe that the most likely explanation for the phenomenon is extraterrestrial. Now, I realize I could be wrong, and that may not be the case, but I think based on everything I've researched, everything I've read, that is the most likely explanation. And uh, that that's part of what drives me to continue this investigation. And, and I'll say one last thing, and that's... You know, the way people and the way society reacts to the phenomenon, that within itself is almost as interesting as the phenomenon itself, how we react to it. And by that, I don't mean how a person reacts when a UFO suddenly shows up close to them. I'm talking about how we react afterwards as, as individuals, how individuals who, you know, have heard the reports but have never seen a UFO themselves, how they react, and how society reacts, how, how this topic has, has become what some people have called the great taboo. A person will tell me about it one-on-one -on -one over a cup of coffee, yet it's a topic that, if discussed before large audiences, then it's considered crazy. Um... That's interesting. Why are we like that? That's part of what, why I love this topic.